Hi, this is Justin Coletti. You may know me from Sonic Scoop. Today, I am with Plugin Alliance, talking to a very special dude, a mixer who's one of my favorites working in contemporary hip hop, a guy named Cohen Heldens. Cohen, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you so much, Justin. It's always a pleasure talking with you. Yeah, if you're not familiar with Cohen, he started his career working with the likes of Dr. Dre and Timbaland. He's worked with XXX Tentacion. He's worked with Wiz Khalifa, Run DMC, a whole bunch of real greats, particularly in the hip hop field. And Cohen is a guy who has been traveling around the world between the Netherlands to the East Coast to the West Coast of the US. And uh, he's been doing more and more mixing on headphones because of it. So I'm really excited to talk to him about that. And our excuse to talk today is that Plugin Alliance has just released Dear Reality's Dear VR Monitor plugin, which is a plugin made for headphones and headphone mixing that allows you to recreate a perfect listening environment, no matter where you are, at home, on the road, in a noisy environment, unfamiliar studio, you can create a realistic sounding, perfect mix room just in headphones. So Cohen, um, when you first started doing more mixing on headphones, were you skeptical of this? Did it take a little while to adapt to? How long have you been mixing seriously with headphones as a main, main reference check? Uh, mixing on headphones is a main, main reference uh, point or check. Not that long, because um, usually the, we all know the problems with headphones is you just have your one and two, your left and right. There's no cross sound coming in and out where you know the left bleeds into the right and the right bleeds into the left so you don't get a real feel of what the record actually sounds like or how effects are intertwined like reverbs delays all that kind of stuff so as of recent more and more because a lot of artists are you know either they're either in los angeles they are in miami new york or in europe or anywhere in between so the best bet to have is to start honing in and making your setup as mobile as possible at least in my case and travel where I need to go if the artist needs me there. So headphone mixes have become much and much more apparent to the point now where there are great companies that are doing lots of stuff. And then especially now with uh, Dear VR, the monitor plugin, it's, it's completely amazing because it actually allows me and enables me to mix on headphones, but at the same time get the feel of a real room or any other atmospheres or environments that I want to cross-reference my mixes in. Right. So a couple questions for you. To my understanding, the the Deer Reality, this Deer VR monitor plugin, allows you to emulate a variety of rooms. Like they take a idealized mix room, and then they have a couple other options you can switch between 5.1 surround sound, you know, 7.2 surround sound, all the way up to Dolby Atmos surround. Uh, which of the room models in Dear uh, Reality have you been finding yourself using the most and what have been the benefits for you compared to just conventional headphone mixing? With the Dear VR monitor plugin, uh, what I do love the most is the mix room A, but I tweak the parameters a little bit. So the cool thing with that is that you can basically give the room much more of a space or your direction as well, like wherever you're sitting in the room, if you're sitting more closer to the monitors or you're sitting more further back, or, you know, even headphone tilt, like maybe I wanna tilt my head and kind of, you know, move my head around and figure out how sounds moves that way and if I'm still comfortable with what I'm hearing uh, in that instance. The other great thing that I use as far as settings is the analytical uh, mode on some mono, because we all know that, mm. although mono is kind of like black and white TV, the great trick, which uh, Dre taught me a long time ago, is to start a mix mixing in mono. Meaning that people say you can pan in mono, yeah you can pan in mono, because you can, you can hear when you pan sounds if your sound feel is getting clearer or more cluttered. So that's a great exercise to figure out if your mix is uh, spacious enough for every element to live in, as well as figuring out what the problem areas are. And with Dear VR Monitor, using that analytical preset with the sim mono mode is absolutely phenomenal. Ah, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, you're making me want to try <laughs> try it out in more detail and kind of mess around with some of the uh, variations too in there. I know that you can also listen in alternate environments besides recreating the perfect mix room like the mix room A and then tweaking it. I understand that you could also emulate a club, a living room, um, you know, live venue, a uh, movie theater even. Have you used any of those models and do you find those useful as a secondary reference check at all? I've played around with the secondary reference points outside of the perfect mix room or like I said, the some mono. Uh, the one thing I do tend kind of as a fun thing is 
clicking it and putting it into the car uh, simulation right. just mm -hmm. to figure out how boomy my bass might be or my low end because we all know we don't want to sit in a car where you have you know we all have friends like that where they have so many subwoofers in their car and big subwoofers that as soon as the song comes on the only thing you hear is just a massive wall of bass that is just really uncomfortable so it's one of those presets that as much as fun it is it also it gives me some information to where my low end is sitting in regards to you know different uh, atmospheres and different formats Right, great. Yeah, I, I mean, it makes sense that if you have an ideal mix room, part of what makes it ideal is what you're doing and there should translate to any environment. But still, it's good to have secondary, weird, real world check scenarios. Um, in practice, have you found yourself switching back and forth between regular headphone mode and the Deer VR monitor mode and kind of using both? Or do you find yourself now just using the Deer VR monitor? Do you find it useful to kind of toggle back and forth for different kinds of checks? The way I use VR monitor is pretty much as my, as, as if you would have like a monitor control. So mm -hmm. predominantly the mix gets done, I'd say for 80, maybe even 90% just on my headphones with regular mm -hmm. cross-reference checks on Deer VR, just to make mm -hmm. sure that I don't pan something too far left, too far right, or soak something too much into reverb, or there's a delayed trail that's a bit too long, or just allocation stuff within the mix that might be sounding great on the headphone, but in real life on a real system might transfer slightly different. So it's definitely a cross point of, you know, 80% uh, regular headphone mode and then the last 20 really honing in on how does this sound in, like you said, the perfect mix room in the car or any other environment. Right, makes a lot of sense. Now, one last quick question for you. Is there any relevance for a guy like you who's doing a lot of stereo mixing with this idea that you can now monitor surround sound formats on headphones from a simple 5.1 all the way up to crazy Dolby Atmos systems? Could you see that being relevant in your workflow at all? So there's been a an increase in requests for Dolby Atmos mixes. And, you know, for a Dolby Atmos mix, you just need the right room for it, the right monitors, the right setup and everything. And quite frankly, because it's pretty new, it's really hard to find studios that are equipped like that or even set up for Dolby Atmos or any of the immersed sound formats. So it's mm -hmm. absolutely of a value to have a plugin where I can monitor and mix in, like you said, surround sound or even Dolby Atmos or any of the other 3D or immersed audio formats without having to make a big investment or you know, find that studio wherever it might be and spend a lot of money on that to just be able with a budget and being on the go, literally audition or create those type of mixes just anywhere in the world where you might want to be or have to be. It's pretty amazing. It's, it is a brave new world. Uh, you're able to work with your clients, whether you're in LA or out in the Netherlands or wherever you're traveling and not only stereo, but also surround sound formats. Uh, it is, we're living in the future, man. I, I never thought we'd be here, but we are. <laughs> totally, I remember. I remember when for the first plugins came out and everybody was like, this is a gimmick, this is never gonna work. And digital mm -hmm. is just, you know, it was like kind of the boom man of like, it's just bad and nobody wants to listen to it. It's too cold, too harsh. You know, analog is gonna be the end all be all. And then now we're looking years and years further down the line. It's just not only all process that's possible within the box, but now we also with the process of where we can monitor and mix more than one channel all completely yeah. in the box and on the go it's it's incredible i mean it's so valuable yeah and there is obviously gorgeous sounding not cold harsh plugins out there these days in fact the guys who are making this conversation possible plugin alliance make some of them and you can try out anything they make for free including the dear vr monitor plugin that we've been talking about today at pluginalliance.com that's plugin-alliance.com Check out a free 14-day trial there of anything they make. I say you should try out the entire bundle. It's one of the biggest steals in the world of pro audio. For a pittance a month, you get everything that Plugin Alliance makes. And every time a new plugin comes out, it'll be part of your mega bundle subscription. I just think it's one of the best values out there. Before we go, any other big favorite Plugin Alliance plugins you find yourself using all the time? Totally. Definitely the SSL E channel. It's like a Swiss knife because I can do anything with it from gating to expanding to compression to limiting. I can filter frequencies off. 
Um, I can EQ things, I can surgically remove things. It's so much of a value. Plus, I love that they also emulated the brown knob in the E channel. So I can switch it to brown knob and I love that on drums and bass because it makes my drums and bass hit so much harder. Other plugins that they have is the Shadow Hills Mastering Compressor. I love to use the green on the drum bus and the red on my master bus just to give it a little bit more glue and also to be able to switch between characteristics is such a phenomenal thing to do. And then on my 808, I always love to parallel it with the BX Green Screamer, just to name a few plugins that I absolutely love and almost use in every single session from Plugin Alliance. Nice, sweet. If people want to find out more about you, find out what more about what you've been mixing these days, where your travels are taking you, what are the best places to find you on the web? You can find me on Instagram, mixed by Cohen Heldens, or you can go to my website, www.mixedbycohenheldens.com. All right, good stuff. Well, Cohen, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us today. No, I appreciate you, Justin, as always. It's always a pleasure. It's always fun. Big thanks to Deer Reality for making that Deer VR monitor plugin that we've been talking about today. You can try that out. Also, any of the other plugins that Cohen's been talking about over at plugin-alliance.com. Check out anything they make for free. This has been Justin Coletti of Sonic Scoop today on the Plugin Alliance channel. Thanks for hanging out with us. See you next time.